Welcome to Slug Disco vlog number five and welcome to summer, at least in the northern hemisphere where we are. We hope you are having weather as spectacular as we have recently. Okay, that's the pleasantries out of the way. For Empires of the Undergrowth this time round, we'll be talking mainly about the balance changes that are with testers right now and the rough time frame of when they'll be arriving. There's also a few new and updated bits of artwork that we can show you for Empires and they'll be coming in the same update. We'll also go through some of the implications of the roadmap for Empires of the Undergrowth, which was uh, released along with the newsletter last month, so we'll go over that. But that all relates to the balance changes as well. If you're curious about the rather splendid old school style music that I've been using for this part of the vlog, then thank you very much to Tally Ho Tuba, who's on our Discord and is on YouTube as well. I'll link their channel down below. They've made some wonderfully retro 8-bit old school versions of the Empire's tunes, which I've been listening to for weeks now and I love them. So thanks very much, uh, Tally Ho. Before we get on to the Empire stuff though, we'll just pass over to uh, Dan P, who is our product marketing manager, is just going to discuss some news and demo updates for some of the other games that Slug Disco publishes. Hello, Dan here, and I'm here today with a quick update on our published games, which are Adapt, Ecosystem, and Horticula. All three of our games were recently featured in the cozy and family-friendly games celebration that was taking place on Steam, and to celebrate that, Adapt and Horticula both received updates to their demos. We released the first demo for Horticula back in January, and it's been really great to see all the, the different gardens people have been creating. So this first demo was the first time a large group of players actually got to play the game and get their hands onto it. So this new updated version of the demo is a reflection of the work that Robert has been doing to address some of the complaints and issues and kind of, you know, quality of life stuff that came up from that first demo release. And obviously all of the additions and improvements that have come to the 2.0 version of the demo will go into the full game as well. So it's just made the full game even better when that comes out. So if you haven't tried the demo for Horticula, uh, there'll be links in the description below. You should go check it out. It's a really fun, great game. Uh, it's quite addicting. And we've had people spend over about 10, 20 hours in the demo. Uh, so I don't know what sort of playthrough times people are going to have in the main game. It's going to be crazy. I can't wait. Adapt also got an update to the demo which introduces the sleeping mechanic so you give your creatures a well-deserved rest in the evening or through the day if they are nocturnal because you can choose if you're nocturnal or diurnal. This is part of developer Paul's ongoing sort of efforts where with the pre-alpha demo uh, which we're kind of developing alongside player feedback um, and the demo is receiving regular kind of updates. It's almost like an early access demo ahead of the early access release, ahead of the full release. Again, a link will be in the description below if you want to play the free demo, get a look at what Adapt is all about, and it's only going to get better from here. And finally, Tom, the developer of Ecosystem, is hard at work on the next update for Ecosystem. It's going to be one of our major updates. Uh, we kind of categorize them as minor and major. This is going to be a major one and it's introducing uh, new combat mechanics to the game. So up until now, creatures would just kind of chase each other and kill each other. They'd attack, uh, they'd do a certain amount of damage, creatures would die. But with the combat update, uh, this interaction between creatures is going to get more fleshed out and actually become part of the, the simulation. So. Uh, their different characteristics of how good or bad they are at combat will affect the evolution of that species in various ways. If you want all of the details about how the combat update is going to work, there is a blog post which again, linked in the description below. And that's a bit of a write up from Tom the developer uh, about what he's actually working on and goes into a little bit more of the nitty gritty of how the combat system will work. The clips that you've seen on screen while I've been talking are kind of like visual development stuff uh, you know it's it's gonna look better when the combat update comes out it's just proof of concept showing that you know these interactions have been working and they were just a very very early look at the combat update but yeah expect more news on that in the future oh and before I go it's worth mentioning that Horticula will be playable at Gamescom in Cologne in August as well as Bit Summit in July which is in uh, Kyoto in Japan following that all three games so Adapt Ecosystem and Horticula will be at Tokyo Game Show in September so if you're gonna be at any of those events make sure to stop by the booth say hello and yeah that's it from me for now I will hope Hopefully, see you in the next one with some more juicy updates about our published games. Thanks very much, Dan, for that segment. Now, let's go on to the Empires of the Undergrowth stuff. 
A few weeks back, developers Liam and Matt and myself went to Carmarthen in Wales to go to AntCon, which is exactly what it sounds like, a convention for ant keepers and enthusiasts. I released a video on this shortly after we came back, so go and have a look at that for the full lowdown. And also Liam did a talk there where he goes through some of the formative processes involved in Empires of the Undergrowth, how we came to certain decisions, how we integrated real world ants into a game and gamified them so they're a fun strategy game to play. That's all going to be linked down below and I thoroughly recommend you have a look at that if you're interested in the history of the project and where it's going in the immediate future. So with last month's newsletter we released a new roadmap for Empires of the Undergrowth and we'll talk about some of that now. Plenty of it is stuff we've talked about before either in previous newsletters or on this vlog but there's a couple of interesting things on there and I can give a few more details as well. We are very nearly done with the art revamp of the beach levels and the new beach underground has recently been added to the game and uh, it looks sandy and coarse and rough and all of those things that you love sand to be. Matt's also been working on a new water look uh, which is going to really add to the feel of the floods that happen on the 2x levels and elsewhere in the game as well wherever there's water involved. Right now, as I speak, in early June, the balance changes coming to the campaign are in testing with our small focus group. They've been providing some excellent feedback, but the intention is in the fairly near future to get those changes out to a wider beta testing group. So keep your eyes on our socials for news about when that's going to happen. The rebalance mainly addresses food. Uh, creatures in general will be dropping less food. There'll be more environmental food, uh, with the exception of tier four, where creatures will provide slightly more food. But it has implications all over the game, including for extra levels and even seasonal levels like the Hungry Spider. So we will be asking for feedback on lots of things for anyone who would like to join in with that process. The beta is likely to be on Steam as a Windows 64-bit exclusive, as it has been in the past. That's just for the reason of allowing us to do fairly fast, iterative changes if we need to repackage for purposes of balance and bug fixing. It's not just food changes though, particularly in the 2x levels, there's some larger changes like there's some unused uh, narrator dialogue which we'll be reintroducing to the game properly now. The strength of enemy attacks is being tweaked here and there. There's a new large variant of the Hermit Crab, also in 3-2 Frontline, which is not affected by the food rebalance. We're experimenting with tripling the health of the huge Whip Spider because we feel it's a bit of a pushover right now. We'll have to see what the beta testers say. We feel that we're very much on track to get this fairly large update which will include these balance changes and art changes during the summer in the northern hemisphere uh, so that gives you your window there summer has just started this part here the new uber creatures there will be four swamp uber creatures and it's been decided that they will be an uber narrowmouth toad an uber bombardier beetle an uber eastern newt and an uber red velvet ant all very scary sounding i'm sure and that's vlog five done. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you in a couple of months in August. There'll be a newsletter next month as usual. Have a great time in the undergrowth, in the deep ocean, in the wide expanding plains and the peaceful gardens as well. Take care. Bye bye. See you next time. Who's just going to talk about some updates? Who's just going to talk about, or maybe you don't like the sand if you're from a galaxy far, far away or not. I had to put that in, come on. We're not done with prequel memes yet. Summer has either just started or will be starting in a few weeks, depending on if you're talking calendar or meteorological. That's a mouthful of a word. I think I got it though. I've also made a commitment to updating the roadmap every six months or so. So in that time frame, I really shouldn't have to do too many more of them. And that's Vlog Flive. <laughs> vlog Flive. And that's Vlog Flive.